So today we're going to be cleaning the throttle body on this 1999 Toyota 4Runner. So to get to your throttle body, we're going to start here, take off that wire hose clamp there at the bottom, and you have this whole mechanism uh, right there to the cruise control trick cable. But you have this whole uh, box that you have to take out. It's all connected. Got to unplug that PCV tubing and then that other wire hose clamp right there. So get your screwdriver and start unscrewing. You don't have to take it completely off. Just loosen it up and get it loose so you can pry off the rubber boot off of the mass airflow sensor. So once you have both of the the wire hose clamps off, one at the top and the bottom. I think I already unloosened the top. Take off these three tubes, the EVAP, the vacuum line, and the PCV tube up there. Just swing it back, and then you have this little electrical line attached. Again, this is the 1999 uh, Toyota 4Runner, the limited edition, with a 3.4 liter engine. I think the engine name is a 5VZFE engine. So just get yourself a, another zip tie if you want to attach that back. I sni snipped it off and just removed it out of the way. So here's the throttle body once you have your box out of the way. you got your idle air control valve underneath, two radiator lines, your uh, little port right there to allow the air to pass during idle, and then this is part of your EVAP system. I believe that's a regulator to allow the EVAP fumes to go into the throttle. And then you have your throttle position sensor. So when you're spraying your uh, your carb cleaner, just make sure you don't spray those sensors. Make sure you spray it on a rag. Don't let the uh, the fluid drip down on some of these sensors. So you see how easy it is. Just move that little throttle uh, cable and uh, or little throttle uh, valve right there, and make sure your cable is still setting in its groove. So here's the carb cleaner we're going to be using. It's a uh, gum out. Get a rag and spray some some of it on your rag. Again, try not to let it drip all over your uh, your electrical parts there. I know some sometimes there's problems when people start it back up. Uh, they get service codes or something like that, so just be careful. So I'm going to speed some of this up a little just because it takes quite a bit. Make sure you open up your valve, get all different angles as much as you can. Mainly the edges is where the carbon buildup is going to be at. Speed it up here a little bit more and make sure you're getting it all all the edges all around the rim of the uh, tube right there and then and that's it so uh, hopefully this will solve your if you have any idle problems and when you're putting this back make sure you uh, line this groove up here on the throttle body and then tighten all the stuff down and put all the tubing back just like you uh, you took it off so hopefully this will solve your idle problems or uh, if you have a sticky throttle Hopefully it'll solve your sticky throttle problem. You also might be getting some low gas mileage just because of the, uh, the poor flow through the throttle body. Mine wasn't too bad, but hopefully it'll improve my gas mileage here just a little bit. I was getting uh, anywhere between 15 and 18 miles per gallon. If this video helped you out, please share it. And you can even share it through text messages now. So send it to your buddy. If you know somebody who has a Toyota 4Runner, and uh, share it on your social media, and thanks for watching.